What's up guys, today we're going to be going over an expense, a kind of more expensive host that is uh, really good that I've actually used myself, and then we're going to go over a couple cheaper hosts than what I currently use for Minecraft servers, and we're also going to go over if you can host your own server and how to set up your own server yourself. So keep watching the video if you're looking forward to that. We're going to go over real quick though the server host first. First up, we've got MC Pro Hosting. You've probably heard of them as they've got a lot of sponsors. Um, there's a lot of really big sponsors as well, especially Hypixel. I'm sure all of you who are watching this video know what Hypixel is. Maybe not, though. Um, but this host is, as you can see, for a gig of RAM, you get 25 player slots, and it's $8.00. And then 2 gigs is $10. But if you have a lot of plugins and you're kind of making a big server, you're going to have to go with something like the Iron or the uh, the Witch Plan or the Enderman Plan. And that's $20 or $30 a month. And some of us just can't afford that. But we want to have 4 gigabyte or 6 gigabyte servers. Well, luckily, there's other options for us too. So if you go over to shockbyte.com, one of your options is this. Their 4 gigabyte plan rather than over here where it was twenty dollars here it's only ten now I've personally um, I've actually used Shockbyte and I stopped using them however it was really easy and these hosts are more of do-it-yourself right so if you're just doing a vanilla no plugins or anything um, type of server then these hosts are perfect for you if it's just you and a few friends I would even just go with the dirt plan two dollars fifty cents a month a gig of RAM that can be like you and and honestly yeah 20 friends with no plugins that'll be fine you guys will have a great time and it's only two dollars and fifty cents or um, if you do want to have a lot of plugins I would go with these guys honestly because they can do other things like help you out um, and set things up for you, where services like that, even though they are um, provided here, they it, it costs a bit more, it's not included in the price, right? So, and then over at MelonCube, which is the current host that I use, I'm actually currently paying for the $12 plan here um, for a 4 gig server. I'm using these guys. I wouldn't say I prefer them over Shockbyte. I just simply, um, I like trying out different hosts for a little while. I've tried many hosts over the years, actually. In fact, my uh, I recently found one of my old files for a server that I made seven years ago. So that's actually quite crazy. But now we're going to go over creating your own Minecraft server. Now, this is something that I've done for years. I'm very experienced in this. And if you guys need help in any field whatsoever, let me know down in the comments and I can go ahead and make a video that will go over everything that you need for creating your own Minecraft server. And I can even go over um, plugin reviews. I can go over, you know, how to set up certain plugins, stuff like that. So anything you guys need help with, just let me know down in the comments. First off, you have to figure out if you can host a Minecraft server. First, you're going to need to click this link, which is speedtest.net, once you go to can I host a Minecraft server, which is literally just can I host a Minecraft server.com. Once you click that link, you'll be given a speed test, and once you hit go, it'll do the test. I've already done the test, um, so we're just looking at my results here. So, what you want to do is now plug these results into can I host a Minecraft server. So, we're going to go with what is your download speed? We're going to go with 128. And connection and upload, we're just going to go with 5 in those 5.6. And how much RAM does your computer have in megabytes? So, if um, you're not sure how to calculate that, if we just open up the calculator real quick, you can just do, uh, I have 8 gigs of RAM in my computer. To figure that out, just right click this down here and go to system. And it will tell you right here, here's my installed RAM, 8 gigs. So now that I know that, just do whatever your number of gigs is times 1,024, because it's 1,024 megabytes per gigabyte. So let's say I wanted to do only 6 gigs of my RAM dedicated to this Minecraft server, right? Or even 5, right? Because let's say I, I want to save that other extra um, a few gigs for myself. So we're going to do 5 times 1,024. You've got 5,120. If you can do the mental math, great for you. I just love using calculators because it's just so much easier. And you'll never get it wrong. That's the best part. So uh, then we'll just go down here and put 5,120. Whoops. That's not even the right number. 
you know, unless you type it in wrong, and then you'll get the wrong number. So, we'll see what can I run. You can host a maximum of 15 players at the same time, plus myself. It's a uh, problem is that the internet connection speed is too slow to send and receive data for more than 15 people at the same time. You're probably better off renting a server instead to have a d decent experience. And that's pretty much what my experience has been hosting servers on my own computer, which is why I love to pay for hosts because it just makes it so much easier. However, if you're interested in hosting your own server, once you figure out what you can host, and if you're just hosting for you and a couple friends, anyone can host a server almost, but go ahead and plug your information into here just to make sure and to run the speed test and everything, just so you don't run into any issues. Then what you want to do is also have links for everything down below, but you want to head over to minecraft.net slash en dash us slash download slash server. Once you're there, they'll have a wiki for a tutorial on this, but I'm just going to give you the rundown real quick. First, we're going to download the Minecraft underscore server 1.14.2.jar. Hit keep. And we're going to copy this right here. We're going to copy this whole thing. This right here is how much RAM you're using. So, remember before how we decided how much RAM we wanted to use? Um, for this, we're only going to use a gig because it's literally just us going to be on the server. And if it's just you, you can probably even just get away with, uh, yeah, just leave it at a gig, honestly, if it's just you playing on the server, right? And sometimes I like servers because um, single player is cool, but there's more flexibility with servers and it, it makes it easier to always just play on a server, even if it's um, locally hosted on your computer. So one thing is if you're hosting your server on your network, you don't have to port forward because you'll always be able to connect to it. However, your friends will need you to port forward. So if you don't know how to port forward a Minecraft server, you will have to watch a tutorial on that. If you want me to make a tutorial on that, please let me know in the comments below. But once your server.jar is finished downloading and you've copied this, we now want to take this server.jar. We've just got my server.jar here and I created a file on my desktop called Minecraft server. Um, so we're just going to drag this in here. As you can see, this is an empty folder with nothing in here. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new text document. We're going to call this run. Now in here, we're going to remember that uh, text we copied. We're going to paste it in here. Once you've uh, copy and pasted the text, sorry, I had to edit it because um, you have to make sure that the the thing here, the name of your your jar file and the name in here are the same. Um, otherwise, your server is not going to run. And I also remove the no GUI. So once you've done that, actually open this back up, save as, and save it as run, and then put dot bat, run dot bat, and hit save. Now we'll get this funky file here, run that. And failed. All right, so good. That's supposed to happen. Don't worry. Now what you want to do is open up this file that it created and type in true. You know what, I'm going to put all caps just because I've never put it in lowercase and I don't want to... Yeah, so true in all caps. Now we're going to hit run again one more time. Ooh, here we go. Loading. Everything's loading. Preparing the world. All right, so this is the GUI that pops up, which is why I removed the no GUI, because it makes it easier to read stuff. And if it does crash, if your server does crash or it doesn't run for some reason, um, sometimes you can figure out what happened by reading the crash here and what happened. Like you, it, It'll kind of explain here a little bit what happened. Sometimes, though, um, I don't understand what the error means, and I'll ask in a forum somewhere if someone else does. All right. Now our server has been officially created. You now have a Minecraft server. That's the craziest thing in the world. You've got a Minecraft server. It took only a few minutes. And here, if we edit with Notepad++, which I highly recommend you get Notepad++, link down below. Um, you just download it, and then uh, you can right-click that file and edit with Notepad++. This is where you set all your server stuff, all your permissions, PVP, NPCs, all that, whitelist, everything. That's your server properties. 
And if you do have a whitelist, here's your whitelist. This is where you'll just start putting names. So you'd put a name here, hit enter, another name, another name, another name, another name, just like that. That's how you use the whitelist. Super simple, super easy. All right, we're going to hit no. We're going to close that too. Now, for proof that the server is up, so I can show you guys that that's all you have to do, we're going to run Minecraft real quick. And what you're going to do is because we didn't port forward, so anyone outside of our home network can't connect to this. However, anyone who is at your house, even if they're on their own laptop, if they type in for the IP, you type in localhost. Um, that's L-O-C-A-L-H-O-S-T. So once you type in localhost, what that'll do is it'll just connect you to your local host network. Um, so just waiting for Minecraft to load up here. All right, now that we've got Minecraft open, go to multiplayer. We're going to hit add server. We're going to call it, you, you probably saw that I had one called my server. That's because I have a different server that's hosted elsewhere. But we're just going to type in localhost here, hit done, and look at that. Our localhost 20 slot server, hit play. Here is our Minecraft world, our server that you just created, we just created, I, I don't know, someone created it, right? No, yeah, we just created it. So uh, I hope you guys have amazing journeys with your friends. I know I have over the years. In fact, I've been hosting Minecraft servers for over seven years now. So um, I have quite a lot of experience. So if you guys need help, let me know down in the comments below. I can make more videos going over any kind of subject. If you guys want to know how to add plugins or mods or how to add mods and plugins, all that, we can get into it. Just let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day. Adios.